Hey everybody, it's John here from vidgamiac.com. Here we are continuing our Great Dane guide. We are doing part 3, the tanker level on easy today. And the first part is like normal. You want to go over to the left and you want to hide in this corner. Wait for the guy to look around and then he is going to turn. And as soon as he does, that's when you go after him. So you're going to go here, freeze him, and then try to get your dog tag. There we go, that's the first one, the first of many. And now go to go for the second guy, he's on the second floor, or the third floor rather. Um, it's up here, just wait till he backs up. Really easy to get, and you can freeze him. And nab your next dog tag. There we go, that's another one down. Moving on to the third one, what you want to do is you want to head towards the other side of the ship. We've done this on the very easy difficulty. The first three guys are always easy to get, no matter what difficulty, uh, at least from the ones I've played. Alright, so drop down here because we don't want him spotting us, unless you can time it right where you can go downstairs and catch him off guard. I wouldn't recommend doing that, so you want to tag him right here and try to nudge him into place and just grab your last dog tag for the uh, outside of the ship there we go it's another one down what you want to do now is you want to drag this guy off and throw him off the ship the reason for this is we need him out of the way so he doesn't wake up for our next step and you can um, drop him and get an item it's gonna be a bandage that might come in handy if you get hit later. Alright, so you drag him off by going over here and just throwing him off of the ship. It's labeled by the white line. And there we go. He shouldn't be any problem. Alright, now is the annoying part. And that is to grip, get your uh, grip level to level 2. You do that by doing pull-ups. we are showing you this many times. But you need to get to level 2 for the easy difficulty takes quite a bit of time like seven to ten minutes there it is got to level two and once you get to level two you can drop down and start going to the inside of the ship and you're gonna want to go into uh, this entrance right here because on the higher difficulties this is the only entrance that is open so you have to use this as the uh, starting point Right, you should get inside, start off with deck A, the crew quarters, this is the first room, and what you want to do is you want to head towards the right, and there will be one guard in this room, what you want to do first is grab the items in here, because they will come in handy for later, there will be a ration in the left locker, and, and sometimes ammo in the right locker, you want to wait for this guy to come down the hall, and then turn around, you can do that by waiting here. And he is going to turn around, and that is your opportunity to sneak up behind him and snap your dog tag. And this guy will surrender it easily on easy difficulty, and you can move on. Alright, moving on to the next room, you just want to continue down the hallway and then just go through this door. It's going to be Deck A, the Cruise Lounge. Now, on easy difficulty, there will be two guards here, so keep that in mind in case you go rushing in after that guy. You want to trank that guy because he is going to require a lethal um, intimidation. So wait for that guy, the other guy, to not look at him and then just trank him. Then sneak up behind the guy walking down the hallway, then tag him. And you should get another duck tag. Now there is a third guy in this room. What you want to do is you want to go downstairs. On easy difficulty, he will not require a lethal intimidation. So you can just use your trank gun. And that is another one down. Just grab your next duck tag. Boom, there we go. Alright, continuing on from this guy, you want to head up to deck D. I skipped ahead here, um, just because this is, this is after the uh, first camera room. There's going to be uh, two guards here. The first one's going to be patrolling the hallway. Uh, what you want to do is you can grab that ration right there, and you want to wait for an opportunity for him to move away and you can wait if you press yourself against the wall the camera should not spot you and once you see your opportunity just run outside and uh, nab it and you might want to nudge him into place if he's pressed against the wall like that put the gun to his head and 
get your dog tag. There we go. It's another one down. All right, we are going to go back over to the starting area of this level. Uh, careful not to be spotted by the camera and head into the pantry and we're gonna get that guard. I've shown you how to do this many times. Basically, you want to go over here, grab the cardboard box, and just duck. And wait for him to press himself up against the shelf. He's going to close his eyes for a bit. And that's your time to freeze him. And get your next duck tag for the uh, deck D. There we go. Alright, and you want to head all the way back into the dining hall, careful not to get spotted by the camera and just continue on to upstairs you're gonna skip ahead to the Olga fight once you beat her once again un arm yourself and drag her body and get yourself the dog tag there it is and you want to drop down grab the ration to heal up if you took any damage and you want to continue on down here Head over here, there'll be a guard, he'll spawn, and then you can tag him. There we go. And then get another dog tag. And you can get him. Alrighty. Back inside, this is... You want to take out the camera here. That's very important, because you can do that after you get the SOCOM. I already took it out, so I'm just showing you... I'm just reminding you to do that. Go down to deck B, the crew quarters, and in this hallway, you can finally get this guy now that you have the USP gun, the uh, handgun. So you want to equip it, and then he's going to turn around, freeze him, and you can shoot him in the arm, and then you can nab your dog tag. And I like to finish him off, so get him in the leg, and continuing on. Alright, so moving on over here, you want to... You can go over here and get some ammo if you need it, because uh, you have way less ammo on the higher difficulties. Um, but after you beat the uh, tanker on easy, you can uh, get the bandana, which gives you infinite ammo, if you beat it on two difficulties with all the dog tags. Alright, the next guy, you already got this guy, so you can just take him out. And then you want to go in this hallway and then come back out. The reason for that is you want the stairway guard to respawn. So you do that by going back into deck A, the cruise lounge, and then he should be there. Bust out your USP and just stick him up. And then just hit him in the arm. Boom. And nab your next dog tag. Alright, after that, we can continue on. You can head downstairs by going over to the right. Careful for the dead guy. And just go downstairs. Grab the stun grenade if you need it. And head into the engine room. Alright, so you're gonna get a little cutscene here. The first guy, you're gonna have to get this guy because he doesn't respawn. So you can just uh, freeze him as soon as you exit the door. And nudge him into place and grab your next dog tag. Second guy is going to be on the deck below. He's going to be right here. You just have to uh, wait till he's in the corner or wait till he's walking the other way. And just net your dog tag. And that's another one down. Boom. Next guy can either go downstairs or drop down. I like going downstairs because you start off from behind him. Wait till he looks the other way, and then that is your turn to go. So he's going to look this way, and once he turns his head, that is your time to strike. And you can get your dog tag like this, and that is another one down. Alright, moving on, after that guy's taken care of, you want to head over to the this part, and then head upstairs. There'll be a guy directly above us, and he'll be right here. And then you can tag him, there we go. And you can just net your next dog tag. And there we go, it's another one down. Now on easy difficulty, they're gonna put one more guard, as you can see he's up there on the upper floor of the um, next doorway. So what you wanna do is, you can grab those bullets if you need it. 
Uh, go up here, make sure he's not looking, and just sneak up behind him and tag him. That's another dog tag down. All these guys uh, give it up without lethal, so, you know, very easy. Next guy, you're going to get the cutscene. He's going to come through the door. Once again, this guy's a one-time deal. You have to get it right now or he'll never respawn. So just wait. It takes him a while to get through the door. Once he gets through, you want to sneak up to him and uh, tag him. And there you go. Another one down. Boom. All right. Uh, skipping ahead to the um, holds area. It is the same thing as very easy. There's going to be three guards in here. First one, you want to go straight down the hallway until you can see him on your Salton radar. And once you do, you want to hit the A right immediately. It's going to be right here. And you're going to see him. Go over here. Hide in the corner. Make sure you press yourself against the wall. Because he's going to look inside this room and he might spot you if you are exposed. So you want to wait for him. He's going to look into here. Just ignore him. And once he turns his head around again, he's going to continue down the hallway. That is your time to go and tag him. And then get in front of him and just get your next dog tag. There we go. And that's another one down. Continue down the hallway. You're going to have the guy at the end of the hall. He's jamming out to some music. Just uh, don't go all the way. Like, stop right here. And then he should um, continue down. And once you get into his blind spot, you can tag him and get your next dog tag. Like so. There we go. That's another one down. The last guy, we're going to use the same strategy as before. Walk up to him. And you want to keep your eye on your Salton radar for the uh, red dot. And then bust out a magazine and just throw it across the hallway. He should go to inspect it. And that is your time to bust out your gun and try to tag him right here. And it's another one down. Super easy. And that is the last main guard. We're going to move on to the uh, actual marines here, which is pretty difficult. So get ready for that. The first thing you want to do is take out your M9. Make sure that is your default weapon so you can uh, quick equip it. Head down the ladder all the way down. And this guy, let me tell you, this is a pain in the ass to get. So make a save. If you not saving after every other dog tag, you best get used to that. Especially on the higher difficulties when you can mess up and might have to resort to the save trick that I've shown you. Alright, to do this, you want to choke hold every guard and then bring him back and then trank him. You do that by unequipping yourself, hitting the X button um, when you are moving still, and then just dragging them. Take out the two guards on the right. They are going to be a pain in the ass later. Alright, to do that, once again, you just sneak up behind them. Make sure you are holding still, like you come to a complete stop. Hit the X button and then drag him over here. Then you want to bust out your gun and then freeze him. And then you want to take them out. And then you want to make sure you trank all of the guards standing next to him. Not all of them. The back row you want to do. And then maybe the second to back row. And um, maybe the third column. Take out this guy too just for safety. Uh, and you just want to make sure you do that. You want to be very careful for this achievement. You can also throw them but you might mess up. They might stand up and you might just get in, in an awkward position. So just use chokeholds, it really helps. And you just want to like pile them up over here. Um, and then you just want to keep tracking them. This took me several several tries. What you can do is if you beat the, the uh, tanker level w three times with all the dog tags or with most of them, you can get the stealth suit and that helps out a bit because you will be undetected. Or you can just do it the... Uh, this way, which takes a really long time, it's just to chokehold everyone. You want to chokehold everyone into the uh, far right two columns right here. And that is going to take you a while. You also want to trank people whose line of vision faces you to play it safe. You don't have to do all of them, but uh, it helps if you can get a lot of them. And that is a process in and of its own. And there we go, there we go, just slowly doing this, trying to take out as many people as you can. Oh, 
and there we go and then once you are sure you are safe continue your choke holding you want to build your way up to the front row and there is another one right there don't worry about the time limit because what you can do is you can get a game over and well obviously you save first and then get a game over and then that will put you right back at the beginning with all your time so you should be good about that and just keep tranking these guys it is a very long process all right continue your chokehold strategy we're almost at the front row once you're in the middle and there we go it's another guy down and I missed and I just get him uh, be wary of your ammo. You want to have full ammo when you start this. So if you did the shootout using the M9, you might be in trouble. So when you get to the shootout point of the game and the holds, you might want to use your USP. Um, there's no achievement to, to play the game with no lethal kills. So, you know, unless you want to show off, then, you know, that's up to you. But I recommend uh, sticking your M9 with full ammo because you're only limited to uh, 61 on easy so that's a pain in the ass all right continue our chokehold strategy you just want to keep moving guys back keep moving guys back and just trank them and um, once you chokehold them and move them far b back enough they will lie down after you trank them and that's the reason why we're doing this we don't want to bump into them even if an enemy is sleeping and you bump into him that will cause a game over in this section of the game so just keep Choke holding people. We took out those two guards on the right just so they wouldn't uh, pay attention. So just keep uh, keep doing it right here. And we're almost there. It is the guard with the boxer shorts. So he's he's right there. That is the guard you want to go for. So make sure you take out any guards like near him, because we don't want anyone seeing us uh, drag him away. All right, continuing on, you want to make sure you have a just a clear path to uh, drag him over here. Alright, here's another guy. Really easy. And another guy. And as you can see, this is taking a very long time. So we're at about like five minutes here, because you get uh, seven minutes to do the uh, this part of the game. But we're at two minutes left. Once again, don't worry about the time. It's all about the dog tag at the end of the day. And you get another guy right here. Bam. And take out these two guys. You don't have to choke hold them because they're in front of you. So just get that. Get this guy. Just play it safe. All right. What you want to do is you want to sneak up behind this guy, choke hold him, and drag him away. You don't want to accidentally kill him. So if you see him squirming around, give him some air, uh, and you can stick him up right here. But he won't surrender his dog tag unless he is uh, far enough away from the crowd. So obviously. You want to unarm yourself, be very careful, and then uh, choke hold him. And just be very careful you don't mess this up. Once he squirmed, give him some air and then re choke hold him. And then you can just continue dragging him out. Just release the X button for a bit until he gets some air, and then just hit the X button again. So keep doing this until you back him up into this corner right here. Alright, then he's gonna be okay. You wanna freeze him again so he doesn't run off and give you a game over. And then you just want to nab your dog tack like normal real pain in the ass and once you get it I recommend saving just really just save save after every dog tag at this point alright get a game over and that will restart you at the beginning with all your time you can do that by rolling through the marines and that will cause you a game over that should put you back at the beginning with all your time left head downstairs just head one uh, ladder down and this is a part uh, that is repeated from very easy you, this is why we got your grip level to level two you want to drop down here and shimmy until you get to the other side. And there should be a guard here. Keep your eye on your assault on radar and make sure you know what direction he's looking at. Because if he's looking in your direction and you pop up too early, then you're going to be in trouble. So head on over here. He's going to turn around and that is your time to pop up and stick up behind him. So he's going to be right here. He's going to turn around, pop up and pull out your gun and make sure you freeze him. I didn't have my gun out, so I accidentally chokehold him, but, you know, don't make the same mistake I do. Alright, nab your next dog tag, and that is very easy. That's another one down. Alright, there are no guards in hold 2, so you can just speed along through that. Same thing, just drop down and shimmy across. 
and this is why we got our grip level to level two really helps out you skip a lot of the game like this and you are in hold three the first guy is gonna be this guy right here it's right when you start off careful not to run ahead because you might accidentally bump into him and get a game over and that's always bad but you respawn right behind him so it's all good continue on you want to slide down the fire pole you do that by going all the way to the end hit the Y button and you should drop down it should be the guy nodding off. He has the dog tag as well, so you want to tag him and then try to get in front of him. Don't nudge him because that will cause a game over for some reason. So, you know, just be careful. Be very careful. And that is another one down. Boom. Save. Always save. Remember that. And the next guy is another pain in the ass one. It is the last one for this. All right. What you want to do is you want to uh, trank every single guard in the back row right here, or the back column. Then work on the next column. You're going to need a ton of time for this. And make sure you pay attention to the Commandant's speech because when he does the stretching or when he does the intruder to the left thing, you want to make sure you're out of the way. All right. The guard is going to be the f in the front row, fourth from the left. And that is a pain in the ass to get to. So he's going to do the stretching thing at about like this time. That is your time to sneak off and run over here. And from here, you want to trank any guards in the right columns. And that uh, can be done. You just need a little bit of aiming and just keep tranking. Just keep working. Just kill time. That's that's the message right here. Just to kill time. So you is stretching crap doesn't bug you too much all right you should be good now all right um and what you want to do well uh, when they're stretching they'll never look behind them so that's good if you stay directly behind them they'll just look to the left right down and then up so but they'll never look behind them which is really really f uh, fortunate for us all right so just continue taking them out We're gonna go over here and just wait it out all right, he's going to say getting back to the topic of hand. Make sure you take out the two cameramen. That is also important. Continue our chill call. As you can see here, I tranked everyone except for the first four columns right here. And that is good. You just want to choke hold your way to the front. And that's going to take you a bit of time. Pay attention to the commandant's speech. Once he says intruder to the whatever, that is your opportunity to just get the hell out. You can go through, through the door and get to the second hold or uh, just stay out of the way. But, once again, this takes several tries, unless you can get it on the first try. Uh, or, if you can just skip ahead in the game, wait till you unlock the stealth suit, and you can do it that way. But, uh, you know, it's up to you. Um, just slowly work at it. As you can see, the right side poses no threat now, unless you bump into them, which is very fortunate for us. Just get that guy, get the next guy. And the cool thing is there's not too many marines here, so it's not as hard as the first one. But, you know, do keep in mind um, that uh, you might accidentally mess up because of the uh, time thing. You know, the whole intruder um, thing. Alright, so, you know, get the next guy. And get this guy. Uh, pay attention to what's... Uh, what side they're facing because you know you might accidentally get spotted if you mess up and as you can see here I'm just gonna get this guy and that's another one down boom and get the next guy alright now we have the front row exposed so that's good and let's track this guy. Just a giant pile of bodies. Alright, you can start slacking off here. Take out the first three guys and leave the fourth guy. He's the one with the dog tag. Unequip yourself, do the choke hold thing, and drag him away. Give him air when he starts to struggle. So he's gonna start struggling. I gave him some air and then I re choke hold him. Drag him over here, then freeze him like normal. And shoot your gun away and then get in front of him and tag him for your last dog tag. And he's going to shake and give it to you. That is all there is for this part. Check back soon for more. And yep, that's it.